guys, Jin here from <clears throat> Ain and Such and Such and Be Scented. So I am making my first Castile soap. Now, I'm needing to plug in my stick blender because I forgot to do that. I wanted to talk about it just a little bit. Um, Castile soap is 100% olive oil soap. That's it. There's nothing else in it. There's no fragrance. There's no additives. Nothing. Um, it's olive oil, water, and lye. That is it. It is one of the most gentle soaps that you can make. And um, a lot of people, it's what they use for babies. So I've actually never made a Castile soap. I have made Bastille soap, which Bastille soap is a soap that is high in olive oil, but has other additives. If I would add a fragrance to this, it would be Bastille. If I would add oatmeal to this, it would be Bastille. The only way to have a true Castile soap is nothing but olive oil, water, and lye. And that is what I'm going to make. Um, now, with this soap, it needs a very long cure time. Why? Mainly because um, people, this is what I, people say, I'm going to have a bar of soap that I will test every few months to see. Um, but most people say it takes about a year before the soap loses what they call a slimy feel. So that's, you know, probably going to be a year before the soap is sold uh, if I sell it. Um, my lye water is pretty hot, but I don't need to worry about it because I'm not doing any swirls or anything like that. We're just going to emulsify this and pour it in the mold. So, that's that. Now, I don't have extra virgin olive oil or pomace olive oil. This is just normal straight olive oil. Got it at Sam's. So, with the same olive oil that I used to make my Aleppo soap, I posted in my group asking if anybody would be interested in olive oil soap, Castile soap, and everybody said yes. So. Now I may make another batch of this in two or three months. <clears throat> That way, um, they'll be curing as they come available. Drop that in there. Not a lot of uh, dishes with this soap. Very simple. I've been thinking this year what I wanted to do differently in my shop and this was one of the soaps I wanted to have. <clears throat> now granted, you know, it won't be ready till the first of next year, but hmm, maybe it'll be ready by Christmas. We'll see. What? This who are you talking to? People on YouTube. You want to say hi? Uh, 
world. Did they hear me? Uh huh. God. Alright, I'm gonna pause you guys and I'll bring you back and I'll texture the top. Alright, I am back. Not ready. <laughs> Alright, it's been like an hour since I made this soap and I think it's sort of okay to texture. As you can see, it's still not really, really set. But it will be good enough. So I'm ready to call it a day. Yeah, it's not really going to do much. That's okay. We'll bring you back for the cutting, okay, guys. So I have made a bit of a mess with this soap. <laughs> Mainly because I went to, uh, I thought it was ready to unmold, and it was not. Well, I mean, it unmolded fine, but then once sitting on the counter for like 10 minutes, it started getting droopy, and I realized that it was not ready to unmold. So I had to stick it back down in the mold, and uh, I kind of smushed it up a little on the ends, so I'll have two end pieces that will be mine, which is fine. So, you guys can see the soap here. I'm gonna, and I'm hoping that it's not too hard to cut because I was told in the soaping groups, even though it takes forever to trace, that it sets, once it's set up, it gets hard super fast. So, um, it's not even been like, oh yeah, see, it's really hard. Holy crap. Um, it's been like, so see, this bar definitely is mine. You guys can see a really nice gel ring. I'm going to try to stamp this. And I'll, I'll stamp mine first, obviously. Holy Toledo. Is it hard? Yeah. These are going to need some cleaning up for sure. Or I may try. I am never any good at cutting with a knife. Like, never. Yeah, okay, the knife doesn't really help either. I mean, this is a super, super hard bar of soap already. I doubt I'll be able to um, stamp it. I don't know, I'll try. The center seems, it's not um, lie heavy or anything. It's just, uh, I was warned and it wasn't ready when I went to bed last night, so I had to wait till this morning. Really wasn't much I could do. It'll just be cleaned up, planed or beveled the edges and it'll be fine. I'm excited to see how this soap does. It's going to be a long time before it's used. The top is so cute. Next time I'll know to make it like before bed and then um, I can cut it when I get up in the morning or use individual molds. <laughs> I 
the center of it is still pretty soft so it's possible that it may uh, stamp can't not see for all the little shavings I've not cut I broke a wire yet. Um, let's see. This still probably will end up being my bar. Yeah. Alright. So, I'm going to pause you guys, clean up this mess, and then we'll try to stamp. Alright, so I'm back, going to try to stamp. Now, this is one of my bars. Oh, and then it worked. So yay. Alright, going to stamp them. I think it may be because the center is still nice and gelled. There's a little bit of lifting, but it looks pretty good. Just spritz the bar. Just kind of tapping it afterwards. see how this one does. Yeah. I'm going to probably clean these up also. Wow. I am working on stamping. I really am hoping to stamp all of my soaps. It's not as clean as the Aleppo soap stamp, but it's okay. It's not pulling it up like uh, normal when I would stamp. Alright guys, so that's that. We thank you for watching. We'll catch you on the next video.